think I'll cut it after that. <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll say something. Maybe we're back. Who am I? Why was I killed? And the one who's sure to know the answers to these to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the line, the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting. It's also son. I'm not sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Hmm, yes. If what I read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be released. Tonight! You, uh, you get the big guy. <coughs> Confound that nearsighted Jigo. The skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. Hmm, yes. But I say the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone line. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy there for a, tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> what is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music, and that low odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure. These people are assassins, and what's more, that red-headed red woman is another one of their targets. That file the old man has, maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. Updated the phone book. Trick time. You. Mm, yes, how much longer, my good man? We are charging up our backup power now, sir. The process should be complete in about 30 minutes. Sir. Hmm, yes. I confound that Jigo, I say. Every year his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. I'll get coal in his next pay envelope, confound it. Or might I suggest glasses in his envelope instead, sir? It seems this file contains information about the redhead, but I can't read it when it's closed. Great Scott! Did, did you see that? That file! I say, the fire wheeled up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen it. Seen to it that the target, N Miss Lane, Lane, isn't Lane, is no longer a threat, sir. Bah, that's not what I'm talking about, man. Hmm, Lynn, eh? So that's her name, is it? But this file. It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Might I suggest putting away that file and relaxing, sir? You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone and I got uh, put away neatly. The only thing I've learned is the name Lynn. This sure is a weird moon. I traveled through the phone line to get here. But what exactly is here? But who exactly are these people?
Yeah, man. Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Bah. Granted, technology is certainly a convenient thing. But our use of it is just plain off. Confound it. Hmm, yes. In any case... I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Hey, that's... Hmm, yes. Sizzle. If all goes well with our, our deal tonight, we... We will have the power to change the world, so... Hmm, yes. It's a very important night indeed, my good man. Can't afford to make mistakes. And that's why we can't afford to trust that sizzle. Now, we must be very careful. Sizzle. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. Deal, eh? What could that be all about? Just exa what exactly was I up to, I, I wonder? We are completely prepared for tonight, sir. Uh... Mm, yes. Now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. Ha ha ha! One thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing. These seem to be the... There seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Yeah. 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 You're right. Nope. Where is your head, man? I told you I don't want wish to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, so... Well, get it fixed, man! Unless you want to see me malfunction! Certainly, sir. Oh... These guys murdered me, and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection did we have with each other? I say, this room is giving me the heebie-jeebies, my good man. What with the what with the painting spinning around and the like? It's enough to give a man the jitters. My apologies, sir. This room was just completed recently, so we are still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. There's some of the kinks that can't be ironed out. Some that are that are made by ironing. Yep. But we're not here to kink shame. Hmm, yes. I just hope that's all it is. I mean, yeah, man. How am I supposed to relax and eat my endless scrapes? state of affairs when I can even be starved by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Yeah! <laughs> it's even more pretend to be started by the same telephone twice. Ha! Ah! The problem must be solved, sir. The Miss Lynn problem, sir. 
What? When? Hmm, yes. You did mention the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment. That telephone call must be from him, be him reporting in, sir. Very good, very good. Lynn is in danger again. Trick time. Zoop. This is one step ahead Tango. I'm at the target of apartment right now. And? Out with it, man! Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead, now would they? Mm. I don't get it. But in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman Division. Bah! No, man! Now you're even getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott! Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead! I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confound it! You're even hanging up one step ahead! What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, do sir? Maybe I'll give him some of near side Jigo's pay. Lynn. I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I, if I ever hope to solve the mystery of me. Time to blow this popsicle sand. I wonder if ghost powers still work in the digital age. He was able to operate a control panel, right? I mean, more like with our smartphones. Maybe if you have your phone plugged in? Telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet. But unfortunately, that hit the hitman is. And there are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Hmm. It looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. an even unluckier little doggy. A poor brave little warrior who must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lynn came home to me, came yet home now, I have to do something about the situation and fast. to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course, do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices and their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment and you are Presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And, the, and so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh! There's no time to lose! Miss Camilla, my Miss Camilla's in trouble! Huh? You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right. 
I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. I'm a Pomeranian. Air Missile incoming. <laughs> oh. It's a Pomeranian, so... For a bullet? Weapon of mass adoration. I thought you were going to say adorableness. I wanted to keep the H and R. Oh, gotcha. That fits, then. I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! Tetsuo! Snake! 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 My Miss Camilla is in trouble, and I vow to devout well to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, eh? I like your little your moxie, little doggy. Look like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life. What did I say about TikTok? Let's see. First of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but... Where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you. You brought me home. Brought me with you, or one or the other. Hmm. It looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time, and not yes. especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So if she can do that, then it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started! Okay, first we need to watch your last four, four minutes of fold. Then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I was saved, just like me, yeah, like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If you watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course. Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. How many tails does that Pomeranian have? It's one, but it's just sort of fanned out. Shut that butt up! You wanna do the little girl? No, Missile. You're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crappier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I'll knock this wall down! You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? <sighs> Why do you like to bark so much, anyway? You sure are cute, but just... But just don't get us killed, okay? Let's uh, turn it down. Darn, I really wanted to watch TV, too. Hey, I know. I'll listen to music. Oops, oops. Whew, that was close. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. I 
I'll knock this wall down. don't really like it when jobs outside the original scope pop, crop up. Get it? Scope? And he has a sniper uh, rifle. Ugh. I'll have to earn some Michael Vick points and put it down as a separate charge. And accounting never, ever likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. That's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that! I'm dead! I'm kinda shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's start let's start our own saving here. But let's see. How are we going to do this? It seems to me the easiest way would be for you to take a bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever I see any but whenever bit bit. Whenever well, somebody I don't know comes around, all I want to do is to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it. Okay then, I guess the only thing we can do is get the little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Do you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whatever the she puts those red things on, that's it. I could call her name until my throat is sore. But she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things! Hmm, you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we... Now we know we have to do something about that. Extend. We just have to wait it out. Why can't we really change the the little lady's fate by just standing around watching. The intruder in black will be entering this room in just four short minutes. And my ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save the little lady, I'm going to have to get her cooperation. The first step is to get rid of anything that might get in the way. Stuck to this side of the room. Camilla is going to put those red things on her head. Yeah, I know. And once she gets them on, it's all over. She won't be able to hear a thing. What can I do? Oh no, darn. How did I manage to do that? They just bought those headphones too. How about if we, how about if we tell her you did did it, Nestle? Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing it to save you. 
So, what now? You think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No? Never mind that. The point thing is, we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Door. Oh. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. Where'd the donuts go? doing under here you silly boy oh my little missile you're always doing the cutest things nobody's here eh my prey is bound to come home sometime might as well make myself comfortable in the while. There, our little lady's fate has been averted. It, it has? Died. Poor thing still curled up in a ball in a ball, shaking with fear. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's not so bad, in the scheme of things. I'd say she's just fine. Now look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to the, be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Camilla? Yep. yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress, and uh, mistress, I can too. Test to that. Oh, oh, thank you. Can I ask a question? Sure. What is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean like ghost tricks? Apparently, they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks. Then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I, I guess. That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for as long for a long time now. But they won't budge for me! What do you suppose that is? I don't really know. <laughs> I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, sorry, but I guess not everybody who dies gets the power of the dead. So what's going to happen to me now? Nothing really. Your death has been erased. You just go back to being a, a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe if you die again. What you did for me tonight? I'll never forget it! <laughs> well, I guess we better get. We better be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. <laughs> and now a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a bottle and 
shaking with fear. And little dog is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. What? Still at the junkyard? Alright, got it. I'm on my way. Hmm. Guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I can't let Neosite Jigo beat me out on this one. I'd better hurry. What's that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. Maybe I should answer. Hello, we call to call you about your car's protect. Mm -hmm. a warranty. Trick time. Open the door, get to the... Yeah, it's like this spot. This spot. That's the little doggy all curled up on the floor. Dreaming of the life we worked so hard to get back with. That's fine, but why is that, what's up with that core? The dead can't possess the living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. De Death's client taught me. So what about a living and breathing doggy? So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? I better try possessing him and see. Oh, it's you! It's you! It's... hmm. Come to think of it, I never did ask you, you your name. I guess, it, I guess it's good we ran into each other again then. It's a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we just shared together? The trauma? That tearful goodbye? A missile! But you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead meet when I meet in the world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way. Yes! Hello. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me. You got to get out of there right now. <laughs> but what about dinner? I, I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger, just a little while ago. Meet me at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? I don't know. That's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love the music box. Is it a present for me? Music boxes. Sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a. No, that's you. you. Then you can't very well call it a music box. And then. Can you just. 
can you? More like just bots. Just wait, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room in here. Excuse me. <laughs> Good thing they don't have any fish in that fish tank. Not again. Darn, now I've dropped the phone in there too? How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? But I sure hope Lynn's alright. I better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? on my stream I got the music box without knowing why. Mm. This is it, the music box. I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, Missile. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath the wall when I came home. Bring your... Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know. You be good while I'm away, and no barking. Adorable Kitsune Pomeranian mix. Mm -hmm. So that's four or five tails. Uh, I'm counting each clue, it's five. Cool. Still from no peace, still no peace for a little lady. And the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fist tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too, because there's something I must do. The question is, how do I get go about getting out of here? Cut off point number two. Yay. 